back. So I just wanted to show you the things that I've cleaned out so far. I managed to move this to my big acrylic, what was left in here, and I have an empty cup. So it's two things that will no longer be on my desk. My vanity. It's actually a vanity, I just keep saying desk. So before I get to my four regular acrylics, I do have this. So give me some bold lip sets because the regular one didn't interest me this year. But I got this not only because these are colors that I re really like and would love to wear. These two in particular I want to test for video is because they're two brands that I've of lip stuff that I've never tested before. So I got these both for videos and because these are pretty colors. Okay, this is the... Okay, I actually have to dump this because the names of the colors are like on the back. This is the Bite Beauty Matte Cream Lip Crayon in Arbergine. And that is it right there. I'll swatch the ones that I'm not going to test for a video. <laughs> that also looks like that LSC by Tati again. Let's see. We have a... What are you? Laura Mercier in An Affair. I feel like these are definitely colors I love. The Kat Von D in Damned. I do love the plums that are almost black. Planning on doing the 30 days of lipstick challenge in January, and all of these will be in it. And the last one I'm not going to test is this Sephora Rouge Cream Belly Dancing thing. thing. <laughs> Another red right there. And these two, which I'm not going to swatch, I'm going to do videos on probably in January. Let's see, we have the Tarte. Tartiste lip paint in Yas. I feel stupid saying that. And we have the Ciate London Liquid Velvet. Where are you? In Head Over Heels. I may not keep this one because this is not quite my color, but who knows? Maybe I'll fall in love with it. So there are those. I'm keeping all of them, at least for right now. I guess the two wild colors that I may or may not end up keeping, but I'm going to test before I do anything with them. This birch box holds stuff that I was planning to pan on this year. I didn't get to everything because I was a little, let's say, overambitious. So here's the Tarte Lip Surgeons and Moody. I actually got through about half the damn thing. So that's actually really pretty on the lips, so I will keep it. Where did I put the other ones? I'll figure it out in a minute. It's a Flower Beauty. Terrible packaging. I think they repackaged these. This is Tempting Tulip. I will probably keep this. This is just like the most awkward packaging on the planet. I need, I'm need. i going to throw this in my pan bag actually because it really does need to go. I can buy the new one if I'm really still needing that color and don't have anything else in it, which I doubt highly. It's a really good, like, lip buttery lipstick. That's just that packaging is garbage. And this I think I will pass on. It's just a little tart lip gloss. I think it came out a set or something. So I'm not excited to use it. And if I'm not excited to use it, then I just need to pass it on. Like, it's pretty, but it's nothing I don't have a million of. And same thing goes for this Laura Mercier lip gloss and blush. Still smells fine. Just kind of a little nude lip gloss. I'm sure I have it. So I would just pass this on as well. I'm sure my sister will love that. I'm keeping the rest of this. Like this is a NARS Rakugian lip pencil. You literally wear that as like a lip balm though. Like that is, I like the formula, but that color is my lip color. Right there. See the Pop Peony gloss and Peony Petal. I know a lot of people didn't like these because Ipsy sent out a bad batch, but the real ones were actually quite nice. Like they're a plumping lip gloss and everything. This is my Bite Beauty, my one stick that's left, and pomegranate. It's gotten kind of messy in there, unfortunately. Now that is a stunning red that no matter what reds I declutter, that is not going to be one of them. So I love that formula. 
Another one I will never declutter, despite always wanting to pan it, is the Matte Balm and Striking. Like, I wore the tip off and everything. But I mean, it's still good. It still smells good. And I love the color, so there's no reason I would get rid of it. There it is right there. Like, this paired with the Jordana Lip Liner in Sedona Red is stunning. So, these are staying. I did get rid of a couple, though. Alright, and now we're actually at my first acrylic. See, my acrylics are actually like organized and everything by brand. But because I have so many, not all brands are up here. Let's see. This is kind of from Wet n Wild. It's one of those Walgreens collections that they do. It is in heroin. It's from the Wonder Woman collection. And this I would probably keep for the packaging over maybe another lipstick. But it stays. I have two of these Essence lipsticks. This nude one in 11, Nude Love. I'm planning to pan next year so that can go in the pan bag. This pink one in Love Me is really nice so it will just stay in my collection. Put this right there. This one is going in the garbage. These are terrible packaging. This is the $1 e.l.f. lipsticks. This is seductive. This is the only one I kept from a different declutter and I've never touched it. Like, they're kind of draggy. The packaging's really hard to deal with, so I think I'm just going to throw this away. I don't want to curse anybody with that packaging. And these two elves are staying because I love this moisturizing lipstick formula. And Let's these bottoms come off, off very difficultly and you get a little lip, lip gloss on the bottom. Which I think is cute. Not the most practical, but cute. I also have an oh, all elf look coming up soon that I want to do. But this is Ravishing Rose right here. And this one is in Red Carpet. I'm not going to pry the gloss off of that one. There it is right there. These are things that might also go in that weird color project pan you guys are wanting me to do. They're the Macaroon Lippies. This one is in Pistachio. That, that is the color of it. <laughs> if you guys want me to film looks to go with these lipsticks, please let me know and I will come up with something. This is in Blue Velvet. When I worked at EA, I used to wear this too and just freak my boss out. They are not forgiving to perfect to non perfectly white teeth though. <laughs> but I decided I didn't care. Here is an intense butter gloss from NYX in Napoleon. I remember having one of their extreme lip creams a while back and I couldn't I swatched it and was horrified by the smell, so these however smell really nice and they're just more intensely pigmented. So that gets to stay. And I've just gotten blue lipstick on my husband's mouse pad. There we go. Let me. That means I need to get another makeup wipe. So I'm on my third one. Let's see, two soft matte lip creams. They will both stay more than likely, as long as they still smell good, of course. Yep. This one smells good. Transylvania. Love that. This one is in Amsterdam. This one I've had longer, so I need to check the smell on it, definitely. It still smells good. That is it right there. Let's see, a round lipstick. Lip smacking fun colors. What color are you? 518A. That's a pretty nude. So I think I'll keep that. And I have these two in the back. I know these have real names. What are they? 
This is Shiva, so that one definitely has a real name. Yeah, the sticker's gone, so I can't tell you the name on that one. This one is Shiva. It's a beautiful duochrome thing going on. Definitely keeping that. And this one is in, I believe, Eros. Yep. <laughs> I've worn that one, as you can see. Thankfully, it and Amsterdam are not the same type of red. Now, I have these butter lipsticks. And I like them. I like the formula. I even did a review on them ages ago. They're not anything super special, but I like them for what they are. However, I don't wear them very often. Let's see. Like, this one is in Fireball. It's another orangey one that... I re-wore and liked because it was a little on the sheer side. I've realized I like my corals sheer, so that's good to know. Here we have one in Mary Jane's. I think the names have changed on some of these. There it is. I know I have colors like that, so I think I will pass on Mary Jane. Here is Hunk. I do really like that. I will swatch this one, but I know I'm passing it on. Is it, I know this one has a new name on it now, but mine is in Snowcap. There it is right there. Like I said, I know I'm going to pass this one on. Like these are a good moisturizing formula. There's nothing wrong with them. I just have so many lipsticks. And this one is in Little Susie. That is it right there. So that was some good decluttering. I have two lip glosses. I have an apple strudel. I panned one of these this year. And I think I bought a new one that I haven't really gotten to use yet. That's a pretty, pretty color, especially when you build it up. And this one is in meringue. See, that is a type of pink I don't normally wear because it's very kind of coolish toned. So I think I will see if my sister wants this. Oh, I'm doing better than I thought on this one. And I have three of the high voltage lipsticks. I think they ch basically changed these to be amped up lipsticks. Like when I looked online, they had some of the same colors at least. Like they had this color and this color still. So just go look at the amped up if you like these. But I really liked these. This one is actually being panned next year to kind of challenge myself. So I do really like the color. It's in Playdate. I did a wearable lavender look with this for an all NYX tutorial. It is getting panned next year, so it will go in the pan bag. Let's see, this one is Sweet 16. I ordered this by mistake when I was trying to get Playdate. But it's really nice, so <laughs> no reason to get rid of it. Let's see, and we have Burlesque. I added this to an order when they were on sale because I needed free shipping. That's a really pretty red, I'll keep that. And like I said, I really like this formula. I cleaned out the whole back row of that. All right, now we have my mostly Revlon and sheer lip balm. And put it in the thing and be my drawer. These two have never been opened. These are two Revlon lip butters I bought when they cleaned out the line in my Walgreens. They are cotton candy and strawberry shortcake and I'm just gonna pass these on or I might even sell them because they they're like still sealed and everything so I figure at this point if I haven't opened them I don't need to keep them. We have Sugar Plum. I panned this earlier this year. This was my backup. Keeping that because I love that color. Just an easy wearable color right there. Here we have Red Velvet. They discontinued this color. Like even in the ones that you can still find some of these, they discontinued this color. Sucks because I love that color. Though now that I'm looking at it, my amped 
Not my amped up. My high voltage lipstick looks like a better pigmented version of that. So I think I will pass this on. Let's see. We have peach parfait. Ooh, that is a glitter bomb. I can look at that and tell. It's a pretty color though. I guess I'll hold on to it for right now. And this is pink truffle. I actually bought this after Strawberry Sweet panned it because it looked really good on her. <laughs> Just that kind of slightly brownie nude. And I've worn it a little bit because I nicked it at one point. So I kept three. I got rid of three. That's actually really good of those. Two of these Colorstay Ultimate Suede's. They popped up in a Tarte Beauty Box a while back. And I like that they click. Like, that's a weird thing for me to like, but I do. This is Flashing Lights. It's pretty nude. And here we have Finale. I think I'm going to keep that one. Like it's streaky. Like it looks like it wants to be opaque, but it's streaky. Not just, you know, sheer. I think I'll pass that on. Okay. I have four of the regular Revlon lipsticks. Let's see, I have Berry Couture. I like that. That'll stay. Now Plum Velour. And that looks streaky. I think I'll pass that on. Let's see, we have Cherries in the Snow. This is a very pretty pinky red. Nice and vibrant. And we have Black Cherry. Right there. Doing better than I thought. Like I said, I'm just trying to be honest with myself and what I'm gonna wear and what I'm not. These are two of the HD lipsticks. Let's see, this one is in Iris. I hate that these stick up. I hate that idea of packaging. That's pretty, I'll keep that. This is in Gladios. It's another one of those Target Beauty Box ones. I've also been given this so many times by friends because they got the box too, but nobody else, they didn't like the color on them. I got rid of all of them, but this one, but I just find that funny. I know all my baby lips are staying. This one in particular is being panned next year. It's an electric one in Berry Balm. So I'll put that in the pan pile. I'll come no, you came flying out of the wrong bag. But the rest of these, let's see. If I can find the name. Pink Shock. Oh, Orange. Let's see. Very Berry. Oh, this was in a pink. And these two from Christmas last year that I wear together. Coco Crush. And mint, please, so I can get like a mint chocolate chip thing going on. And I love these. These they just continued these. These are the NYC Appalicious. Let's see. We have Appalicious Pink. Some people complain that these smelled like fake apple, but I really liked it. Big red apple. Apple Blueberry Pie. This is the one I've used the most. I think actually I'm gonna put this in the pan pile. I'll pan that next year too. Let's see. Apple Blossom. Nope, they still smell good. <coughs> A little potent, but good. I cleaned seven off of that one. I'm doing so much better on these. 